Hi everyone, my name is Parvin, I'm 27 years old and I would like to tell you about my orthognatic experience in Turkey. Since I couldn't find any videos regarding this topic, uh, I would like to share my experience with you and maybe it would be helpful to somebody uh, who is uh, trying to get any information about this. Uh, in YouTube or in other mass media platforms. So I would be glad to help you, actually. Uh, and first of all, I would like to say that uh, if you have some troubles with your jar and you are uh, trying to solve that problem with this surgery, uh, please do not hesitate to contact me, uh, to write me, to comment below or something. Uh, I would be happy to help you. So let's start, <laughs> if you don't mind. And uh, yeah, uh, starting with, I would like to say that my surgery, it was something necessary because I had problems with my jaw for many, many years and I couldn't solve it and um, the surgery helped me a lot. Um, uh, when I was 10 or 11, I don't remember exactly, so uh, my dentist told my mom and my dad, my parents said, uh, your daughter um, have some problems with the jar, so we went to see a few orthodontists and they all said that, yeah, uh, your child uh, needed a uh, surgery when she's gonna turn 18 uh, but I was a little child and my mom and my dad they were pretty afraid of the surgery and they said no so and we stopped searching for the doctor at that time later when I was 15 and I had some troubles pronouncing the words with sounds like sh or ch and so on, um, my mom uh, finally decided that maybe that um, uh, her daughter needed to have, pro uh, have proper orthodontic treatment. So we found a doctor, we found an orthodontist in our city and um, that orthodontist told uh, me and my mom uh, that uh, the surgery was not an option and it was not necessary for me and we could manage all the things only with the orthodontic treatment we started the orthodontic treatment and i had been wearing the bracers for uh, four years and a half um, uh, by the time when i was 20. so i had enough and uh, all the treatment was not successful I, st I still had the same troubles, I still had the same problems with my jaws and I and with my bite as well, so I thought that maybe we just needed to stop the treatment. Uh, yeah, and I took my bracers off uh, after four years and a half. Uh, after that I had, um, you know, like <laughs> fundamental problems with my teeth, they were in horrible condition due to the, uh, the, uh, the fact that I was wearing bracers for too long. And I had also you know, some treatment for my teeth. Uh, and when I was 24, uh, my teeth, they were not so beautiful. And uh, it caused me a lot of uh, pain and I was not feeling confident enough. And I was trying to hide my smile so and for the young girl it's really important actually and i decided to have veneers so yeah i found dentist uh, and we did that and um i'm i'm so grateful for the doctor uh, she did the great job with my teeth but still i had problems with the jars it didn't disappear you know, and I still had troubles pronouncing the words. I still had back and uh, backaches. I still had headaches. So, and it was following me around everywhere. 
and uh, I had breathing issues as well. I was sleeping with my mouth open and so on. So uh, there, there were a lot of problems and consequences of the deformation of the jars. Uh, yeah, and I was struggling with that for many years. Um, back in 2020, I decided to see uh, the doctor in my uh, hometown in Moscow, Russia. And um, I, will, I went to the consultation with a doctor and he told me that I needed to wear expander to my um, upper jar for six or seven months at least and only uh, after that uh, to wear bracers and uh, wear them for at least like one year or one year and a half and law only after all that things have surgery finally and after the surgery surgery continue wearing bracers for another six or seven months so in totally all that uh, period would ta would take me uh, at least three years and uh, when we talked also about the prices so the prices back uh, then in 2020 it was about um 12 to uh, 15 thousand dollars so uh, it was expensive it was really expensive and i decided that no it's not the uh, proper treatment for me i i didn't want it that i didn't want that yeah and i was desperate actually i thought that yeah i'm i'm wearing veneers and i also had no job in 2016 so it would be impossible for me to uh have a treatment to have a surgery double jaw surgery uh, and i was not satisfied also with my appearance and with my face um, but i could do nothing at that time uh, in one year, back in tw uh, November 2021, uh, my problem got worse and uh, I had more and more back uh, backaches and uh, headaches all the time, constantly. Uh, and at the same time, I also uh, had the ticking sound when I was chewing, uh, no matter it was like uh, hard food or soft one, it doesn't matter, it was always like ticking sound and um, I was also afraid of not only the annoying ticking sound, the sound but also of the fact that um, my inner jar can be dislocated so yeah it was freaking uh, it was freaking me out and I decided to try my chance again uh, and I found the surgeon um, Dr. Kemal Ulu. Uh, I found his Instagram first and I was familiar with that doctor because when I had a nose job in 2016, uh, he was really famous in my mother's homeland in Baku, Azerbaijan. So I heard about him, but unfortunately, uh, he wasn't there when I was and I was planning to have a surgery. So I went to another doctor and I had my successful nose job with another doctor another surgeon but it's completely okay so I just remembered him from that time and um, I uh, found out that he was a uh, he was specialized in orthognatic surgeries as well I was happy so I went to see him my consultation went so well and he calmed me down saying that uh, in your case we can do the surgery and you don't need the expander actually uh, but he also advised me to go and to see orthodontist because it was necessary to have all this treatment in collaboration with orthodontist uh, these kind of surgeries orthognatic surgeries uh, cannot be made only by the surgeon you should understand that firstly because it is operated in a collaboration with orthodontist. Orthodontist is planning the surgery with all the measurements and programming and so on. And uh, only with that details, um, the doctor, the surgeon can operate, can do the surgery. Uh, other way, it's impossible. Yeah, so he recommended me the doctor, uh, the orthodontist, and also I found a few doctors uh, due to the friends recommendations and so on 
uh, I went to see uh, final like eventually I went to see two of them uh, there was a very qualified uh, orthodontist woman and the other one it was by the recommendation of my surgeon so finally I chose the doctor that my surgeon recommended because his approach was the best for me he said that I can uh, have, uh, he said that I could have the uh, first surgery approach. It's when you have the surgery first, and then uh, after the surgery, you just continue with orthodontic treatment, just fixing your teeth position according to the right jaws positions. And it was the, the best option for me because I wanted to have the surgery as soon as possible. And yeah, we deal. Uh, we had a deal, so we started to prepare for the surgery. The preparation took approximately two weeks. Uh, it was not that long. And after that, uh, on uh, January the third, I had my surgery. Uh, after surgery, you feel weak, and you do feel the pain. First few days, you do feel the pain but it was like the slight pain uh, that can be uh, removed or can be vanished by painkillers and you are provided by painkillers uh, during your stay in a hospital uh, i stayed in a hospital for two days and um, after the second day in the morning of a third day my doctor finally allowed me uh, go home uh, i went home my mom came and we had wonderful time together uh, so yeah the first week it was like you speak but you try not to speak that much since your face is swollen and you also have stitches all around your mouth you try not to move them so uh, often and at the same time your face swollen mm -hmm. so you don't even need that you know and you don't feel half of your face actually so that's why you don't do that a lot but it was completely okay and i also had some liquid food uh first week at the end of the first week like second week i had my consultation with the doctor and at the second consultation like after the surgery uh, my doctor like one week after the surgery my doctor he stabilized my jars with a line a liner and uh with elastics because mm -hmm. in order to heal your um jars should be stabilized in one position for two weeks and a half so i had my mouth shut for two weeks and a half and after that um like during that period of time i couldn't talk and I couldn't eat, of course. Mm -hmm. The only uh, way how I consumed the food, it was liquid food. Uh, so like water and soups like water or some juice and so on. Uh, and I had a lot of hot chocolate back in that time because <laughs> I was trying to, you know, to cheer myself up with some something sweet i try not to drink sweet stuff but that period was an ex exception for me and we also had wonderful time with my mom yeah it was hard to communicate with her first few days because she didn't literally understand what i was telling her but then i managed she somehow managed to understand what i was trying to say to her and my mom also she's not familiar with istanbul and uh, we were uh, having a lot of walks all around so we were going out a lot um, uh, we went sightseeing and also we went to a lot of parks beautiful places mm -hmm. and so on so it was quite fine fine time for me and my mom finally we were together and uh, she was my biggest supporter thanks mom <laughs> So yeah, we had wonderful time, and uh, like two weeks and a half lay, uh, later, and in total after the surgery it was like three weeks mm -hmm. and a half. Um, my doctor finally he took off the eliner from my mouth, and I could finally open and close my mouth and uh, talk. 
then uh, it was like the uh, rehabilitation after the surgery I still had stitches uh, all around my mouth inside of my mouth not uh, outside so and uh, my doctor told me like you're gonna have them um, for a while and you're gonna see them so I saw stitches on my gum but it was quite fine and it was quite all right because uh, they started to drop after like uh, after like one month and a half yeah one month and a half or two months and they do not bother you but try not to smile that much because it can cause a little pain so uh, you don't need to put the pressure on your tear on your uh, stitches but it was quite all right yeah so after that um, my um, Eleanor was gone I was completely fine and I started to eat soft food little by little so and it was also quite fine and quite all right and um, I haven't started the uh, orthodontic treatment yet uh, it's been like almost three months after the surgery because my doctor personally he waited for my jaw to be healed 100 percent so next week i'm gonna start also wearing invisalign i chose invisalign for my treatment not bracers because bracers for me it was like a tragedy i didn't want it and yeah so that, that was my um like experience and when it comes to the rehabilitation, you should know that, yeah, it, it's hard, you know, guys, it's really hard to have it. You're going to have it for some period of time, but it's completely okay. Like, it's completely okay. You're going to feel 100% better and uh, you're going to be able to breathe through your nose. You know, it's so satisfying. It's such a big relief mm -hmm. and you wouldn't have any... Um, back pain or you wouldn't have any uh, headaches it's just so good i mean it, it makes me so happy these days and another <laughs> benefit of this treatment you're gonna lose weight so in total i lost about seven kilograms and uh, now i still continue my journey of losing weight i'm trying to eat healthy food and so on so it's good <laughs> Yeah, and when it comes to the prices, I would tell you I had some savings, so that that's why I could start the treatment really fast. And um, I will share my prices with you. Um, you should know that the treatment in Turkey it's one of the cheapest ones in the whole world. So I will give you some prices. Uh, for example, my treatment in Turkey it cost me uh, just double uh, jaw surgery it was five thousand uh, dollars chin surgery like a plastic surgery it was uh, two thousand dollars so in totally i paid for the surgery seven thousand uh, dollars invisalign treatment it was three thousand dollars and also preparation for the surgery that i had for two weeks before the surgery it cost me five hundred dollars so in total it was like ten thousand and five hundred dollars it's my journey and the prices that i had uh, if you compare it to the prices in your uh, homeland in your hometown you would understand uh, where it's cheaper to have it but also do not forget about the qualification of your doctor your doctor your surgeon and your orthodontist should be um well uh, well uh, well prepared for this kind of surgeries and qualified um i know that there are few surgeons and few orthodontists all over the world who can who can manage it and who can operate uh, operate such a um complicated surgeries like orthognotic orthognotic surgeries yeah so uh if we compare for example i can I'll show you the comparison of the prices in Turkey and in Russia because I had also consultation in my hometown in Russia. So, for example, uh, the surgeon that I went to see uh, for 2022, his uh, surgery rates are uh, only just the surgery. It's about 
ten thousand uh, dollars. So when we talk also about the uh, orthodontist treatment, uh, when I found out that it was in November 2021, so yeah, the price can can be higher now. I don't know. You just need to research that. It was about four thousand or four thousand and five hundred dollars Invisalign treatment and preparation for the surgery it was about one thousand dollars approximately and also and the surgeon in Moscow he experienced as well expander surgeons uh, surgeries and the expander surgery uh, cost about two thousand uh, approximately two thousand dollars so in total the um, total price uh, it would be around 18 to 20 thousand dollars so like a double of the price that I paid in Turkey and yeah so also comparing the prices and um, the approach and how they manage the surgery and ortho, uh, ortho, uh, orthodontic treatments in both these countries I thought that the best option for me would be Turkey uh, yeah and uh, right now I can say that I'm fine I'm just totally fine with my uh, surgery experience you can look at my face and it's still swollen I know I feel it here in this part on my cheeks and um, on my chin as well uh, but it's completely okay I mean I I think I, I, I look good I mean I, I look satisfied <laughs> at the moment uh, with my physical appearance and um, yeah it would get better and better and better so i'm happy i'm happy that finally i decided to do that and i did it and i yeah i spent a lot of money on that but it's 100 percent worth it so if you want to have such a journey if you want to have surgery please do that don't be afraid it's just your dream and all the dreams should come true one day so please do that and I just finally want to show you my face. It's like this. <laughs> yeah. And I also prepared a small video like um, containing the photos uh, of my um, surgery, the, like um, before the surgery, first day after the surgery, and so on, till the um, like two months and a half after the surgery. So I'll try to put it here as well for you to see it and also I recorded the video from my hospital my hospital was pretty cool one it was like five star hotel and uh, while I was waiting for the surgeon to come before the surgery and to see me for the last time I um, also videoed that place I also took a, a video of that place I'll try to show you the, that video uh, I, I tried to manage that. <laughs> I don't know if I would be succeed by that, but I, I, I'll try, I promise. So yeah, it, it was my journey in Turkey. I hope it helped you a lot. I hope you um, got encouraged by my journey and you finally decide to uh, do that and to get relieved from your pain and from your um and troubles causing uh, by caused by deformation of your jaws yeah guys that's all for me so if you have any questions or if you have um, uh, something to tell me please write me i'm gonna let my phone number the doctor's phone number and his instagram below so you can also contact him for further information and details regarding your case all right have a good day Bye. It goes on and on and on Stop dancing, I'm singing like Oh, I want something just like that I feel over and up, but I feel it still But I want something really, really, really I want you to be happier